because I would care that little about you. At that point. You're, you, you're a whore, is what I'm trying to say. All right, let's go Thank you. Side. Probably be back later. It's not unusual to be Wait, Emma was, was when Paul stole. She said she was on holiday. Hey, Toke is back. What's up, man? Thanks. Thank you for the sub, man. Welcome back, dude. It's good to see you. Enjoy yourself what today, sir. What do you sir. know about Paul stealing money from students? Part of a stunt or something? What did he do that? I, I've never heard about anything like that. No, it might be part of the risk-taking thing, though. Explain that. Well, it's it's part of the course. You have to do something dangerous or risky, uh, something you wouldn't normally do. Something dangerous? Well, not dangerous, just, just risky. Like, um, saying something you wouldn't normally say to someone, or uh, doing something unusual. Like stealing from other students. Like Emma's a whore? Well, we didn't do anything like that, but... You have to tell everyone at the end of the course anyway. And you're not allowed to do anything that would hurt or offend anyone. Or you're not allowed to do anything really bad. It's all pretend, really. <sighs> Seems a bit odd for a business course. It works, though. Say things to people. She said she was on holiday when Paul performed the stealing prank the night that Liam died. Okay, we can go talk to that little that little hussy again. Has there anything about Paul? So was told that Alice to do something else and not allowed to hurt or offend others. Ah, uh, that's yeah. all for the moment. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to your hussy girlfriend. Be right back. All right, so. Was it third eye when Paul pulled the stunt? And you guys, wait, hold on a second. She said she was on holiday when Paul performed the stealing prank the night Liam died. So if we go to Liam, was on holiday the night Liam died. Aha. Nice job, guys. Fuck yeah. So you witnessed Paul's money stealing stunt, is that right? Yes. But you weren't there when Liam died. No. Uh, Don't quite understand that, you see, because Paul pulled the stunt on the same night. Liam died later that evening. Um, I, uh, I must have mixed up. So you don't know anything about Liam's death, even though you were there on that night? N no. Emma. You liar! I think you better explain, don't you? Well, it was the stupid course, wasn't it? Go on. <sighs> well... We were all told to do stupid things, and and then that thieving thing happened, and so... Take a breath, Emma. <sighs> Liam killed himself because of me. Why? Because you're a lying hussy um, slut. That's probably why. Liam had a, a birthmark on the side of his face. And no one would mention anything. Even though we all knew it was there. And we all thought, they all thought it was ugly. So I thought I'd say something and I... I even asked Paul if it was okay to say it. What did he say? He said he wouldn't mind. Then Liam killed himself. Liam said because of me. Well, Emma, I'm quite sure you regret what you said, but I really don't think you caused Liam's death. There's always more to these things than meets the eye. It wasn't your fault. We can't tell Simon, please. Simon doesn't need to know. Don't worry. I'm not keeping your lies, whore! If Simon asks me, I'm gonna tell him, because that's called being honest. It's 9 p.m. I don't have time for your shit anymore. Fuck talk. you, Emma. Poor Emma. I suppose it's possible that what she said led to Liam's death, but I really doubt it. I blame the Rands before I blame her. Really? Really, detective? Really? Why does the music get loud all of a sudden, man? It's so loud! It's, it's, it's like no say- it's like- it's just fucking loud, man. We get it, you wanna play some fucking music, like some emotional music and shit, but like... It's so fucking loud. So she, 
So she thinks this guy killed himself because she said that he had a, a birthmark on the side of his face? How emotionally unstable and like how fragile does your emotions need to be for someone to be like you like to live your whole life knowing you have a huge mark on your face and then someone being like hey buddy you've got a huge mark on your face and then all of a sudden he's like or he drowns himself because he's like i just can't take the humiliation guys if there's anyone out there with a birthmark okay let me tell you right now Drowning yourself is not the way to get to get rid of that. Okay? In fact, there is no way to get rid of it. Maybe surgery. I don't know. Why don't you just love who you are? Everyone else will. Nobody really cares that much. Unless it's one of those really big, like, black hair coming out of it kind of situations. Shave it. And then we're all going to be fine. This has been a PSA from Elon. Ask about a few more things, please. Let's talk about Emma's guilt. Do you think Emma's molly, 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 of molly, molly. on that last night led to his suicide? I doubt it, Hal. Did you encourage Emma to criticize him? I didn't encourage Emma to do anything. Laser hair removal. I merely told her what we tell every student to do, to express themselves as they Hey, Loco, to. what's up? Good morning. It would be out of order to criticize them after that, wouldn't it? However, I didn't expect her to criticize his birthmark, if that's what it was. That's a decision she took herself. So you didn't know her well? No, not at all. Didn't expect Emma to discuss Liam's birthmark. Didn't encourage Emma to criticize Liam's birthmark. Hardly knew Emma, is what he says. Let's see if that lines up with the other things. Only met Kate last night. I saw her Friday. Possibly spoke to her. Kate was drunk. There's no Kate. I didn't see it anywhere. Something's going to be about this bicycle, okay? He's been on... He's, this detective has asked everybody about this bicycle. Nobody said shit about the bicycle. I don't know why he's harping on this fucking bicycle. But it's going to come back. It has to. Bought a freedom necklace for a student. Hardly knew Emma. Ah. Booyah! Oh, fuck yes! You say you didn't know Emma, uh, yet you bought her a freedom necklace. I don't remember saying anything about buying Emma a necklace. So you didn't buy her one? So you did buy her one? So that means you must have known her, and quite well, too. Stop making such a big thing about this, Inspector. Look, I've been around a few years. The clock is ticking. And I admit I have a, an embarrassing weakness for attractive women. It was a stupid mistake. But that's all it was. So you're saying you tried it on with her? No, I didn't try it on. I bought her a necklace. I'm not aware that there's a law against buying presents unless, of course, the Third Reich has been elected while I was at a bridge party. Emma was old enough to make decisions for herself. And, as a matter of fact, she decided that she didn't want to be bothered with an old fool like me. So, nothing happened, no mistakes, nobody got hurt. All right. But his son banged her. Like father, like son. No surprises <laughs> there. I wonder how many students Paul has tried it on with. Ha! Hmm. Hmm. Once, he said he hardly knew her, once tried to date Emma. What do we, what do you guys think next? I don't, I don't know, I honestly don't know where to go from here. Anybody got any ideas? 
So he says he once tried to date Emma. Does that go against anything else that he said? Liam's death was unavoidable. How is it unavoidable? I want him to... We should go to the bicycle. He knew about the criticism of the birthmark because she asked him first. I know, but we're not... Okay, again, I, we can't... Okay, so this game doesn't... How am I going to explain this? Whenever you ask people things... Finger bang, Ryan. I guess we should go talk to Ryan. Okay, so... So whenever you talk to somebody about something, you don't... How am I, how am I going to say this? This game doesn't allow you very often to take something someone else has said and go... This person specifically said this. What do you say about that? It only happens like every now and then. Most of the time, your job is to catch them in a contradiction in what they've said themselves. It doesn't allow you to like use other people's statements very often. So I know that sometimes it might make sense to say, like, uh, for instance, um, uh, Simon says that they did use the masks in the party. What's his name said they didn't use the masks. Uh, you can't go to Simon and said and say uh, Ryan says you he you you don't use the mask but you did. What do you have to say about that? Like it doesn't let you do that. It's kind of weird in that way. But I guess in a way it's just he said she said kind of shit. You have to really like you got to catch them in their own their own whatever. It's not like a cross examination. It's more like just an interrogation. Okay, so we gotta go talk to uh, Ryan now. Five dollars from Mosinator. Morning, Elo. Just got on. Can you give a quick recap of what's going on? Okay, quick recap. There has been a suicide that has been. Um, it has been marked out as a, a drowning. I'm sorry, a drowning that has been marked as a suicide. I was sent to investigate. I started to investigate. Um, Come to find out there was uh, another person who committed suicide a year ago, uh, around the same time. Um, both of them belong to this, uh, this course, this business course called Atlas. It used to be called Third Eye. Um, and basically, I'm trying to find if there was any wrongdoing with these suicides. Uh, trying to find out if there was any, you know, fucked up shit that happened. Well, this Atlas thing or Third Eye, they're kind of cultish. They have masks, they burn shit. It's kind of like Hot Fuzz. Have you ever seen like Hot Fuzz, how the whole town is kind of in on it? It's kind of turning out to be something like that. Either they know about it or have been part of it. And uh, so we're just trying to pretty much figure out um, how things are working. Basically, this guy Ryan runs Atlas and his dad uh, helps him run. He's the money, I guess is what they said. So anyways, we're here Couple talking. questions if that's okay. We're here talking to Ryan now, who is the leader of Atlas. And we're just trying to find out what happened to these uh, two college students that supposedly drowned. You can search in the first hallway. Oh, I did not see that. Be on, back me, later on if that's okay. Let me back out a second, because I'm just going to have to go back in if there was something to search. You said there's something to search? Oh, there is something to search. Good call, guys. I would have missed that entirely, explaining all that. Oh, a flashlight! Oh, we can go to the back shelf handy. now. I don't know why I never remember to buy one. Yeah, you're a detective. You would think you'd keep a light on you. Nah, you just have to steal someone else's. I love how this guy just walks around stealing shit from people, too. Hail to the king, baby. I'm investigating! It's not stealing. A few more questions, please. All right, so uh, let's ask him about it. Uh, you know what? Let's just start from the top here. There's a lot of things we haven't asked him yet. So now we're trying... And this game is all about catching people in contradictions with their statements. So that's how you get to learn more about what's going on. Mosinator says, thank you, you the bomb. $25, dude. I would have done it for free. Thank you. So thanks tell me more about man. this doll burning. Love you, dude. It's a symbolic ceremony we perform every few weeks on the course. What's it about? It's about burning your old personality and finding a new one, a better one. So the dolls are... You. They represent you from the past. Each doll has a picture of the student as a child or a teenager. Uh, and they burn the doll and symbolically destroy 
their old personality. It's quite simple but effective, I find. And why did that girl shout? Because it's an emotional thing. She, she quite clearly become very attached to her doll. They do spend the first month with them. We tell them to take the doll everywhere with them before they actually go through the doll burning. And you believe that's a good thing? Destroying your past? Of course it's a good thing, Inspector. We're all shackled to our past, particularly you by the sound of it, perhaps. Perhaps we should make a doll of you, Inspector, and burn that. What do you think? No, thank you. You're probably right. I'm not sure it would do any good anyway. Oh, sweet burn! Sweet old British man burn! Take that shit, get fucking wrecked! <laughs> Smashing! Can you tell me about auto-hypnosis? No. What would you like to know? Do you use it on the course? We dip into it occasionally, but uh, it's not a major feature of the course. I would say that, well, a minority of the students know how to use it, but the majority wouldn't know and have a clue. It's not a requirement of the course? No, not at all. We don't, we don't ask people to do things that they're not comfortable with. There's no bribery, no coercion. This guy, man, this thinking fucking about phasing auto-hypnosis out, actually. What's the reason for that? Uh, well, to be perfectly honest with you, Inspector, it doesn't actually work very well. <laughs> so he claims auto-hypnosis is not a major part of the course. Students aren't coerced or bribed in any way. Auto-hypnosis techniques are being phased out. Believes auto-hypnosis doesn't really work. Just ask him about his guitaring. I didn't realize you were a musician. Oh, well, I'm not really a musician. I mean, I, I, I dabble a little bit. To be quite honest with you, I'm far more interested in collecting guitars. You're not in a band. Oh, uh, well, I, I did audition. I did audition a few years ago, would I say a few years ago? Of course, I mean about 20 years ago. <laughs> Doesn't time fly? <laughs> what band was that? Oh, I can't remember. Something Stone. Aren't they all called Something Stone? Hammerstone. That's it. And you still collect? Um, I haven't bought a guitar for over a year. I feel I've moved on. Dude, dude, okay. There are so many instances in this game whenever they're like, I just see the director, man. I just see the director sitting there like, okay, at the end of this little sequence, I want you to, I want you to act like you're lying. And so he's like, yeah, I've totally moved on. Like, he just, like, it's so over the top, man. It's so fucking over the top. Hammerstone. Fucking Hammerstone, man. He said 20 years ago. Hasn't bought a, a guitar in over a year. Once auditioned for a band called Hammerstone, which is bullshit. We know it is. Do you know what this is? Well, I think it's a bag. <laughs> is it a bag, Inspector? The shop. Oh, yes, the costume shop, yes, we used to hire from them. For the course? Well, yes, for the course, at the end of each stage, we have a, a, a little party and we ask students to dress up or try acting out uh, being somebody new, their new selves, as it were. Could you explain a bit more? New selves? Hmm. One of the main elements of the course is learning how to act, how to be whoever you need to be in any given situation. I think you'll agree, Inspector, that business is about being the right person in the right situation at the right time. What it does, it, it helps them to detach themselves, become somebody new, pretend, you know, you know, that kind of thing. It's surprising what a little bit of cross-dressing can do for you, Inspector. You should try it. Mm, not at this stage. <laughs> Mark, Mark uh, Wahlberg, what do you, what do you think about trying some cross-dressing um, at this stage in your life? Uh, call, call, Colin Farrell, what do you, what do you, you're not, okay, you're not so, you're not so into it. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm seeing that. Chuck Norris? Oh, Chuck's in! I knew it, he always is. <laughs> God damn it, I love those gifts so much. I use them all the goddamn time. Anybody who watches know I use them like once a day. I, today I've used them about twice. your father's money-stealing stunt? Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, yes, that was something that Dan decided to do uh, as part of the shock 
aspect of the course. But he went too far, you believe. <laughs> he usually does. And do you think it did have anything to do with Liam's death? No, 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 no. Liam wasn't like that at all. No, I mean, that no, was just a no. simple unfortunate coincidence. I mean, Liam had his own problems, but he didn't have any problems with the money shock stunt. No. No, 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 ultimate power. What do you know about Emma Bowman criticising Liam before his suicide? I was there. I witnessed it. Uh, well, I, I know Emma blamed herself for his death. Did she? Well, she was upset and all of that, but um, I, I wouldn't blame her, Inspector. I, I really don't think she had anything to do with it at all. You don't think? Liam was a very confident person, very outgoing, very strong individual, or so it seemed. I mean, people are free to do what they like. Even something as irreversible as bumping themselves off. Sad though that is, of course. So witnessed Emma's criticism of Liam. Doesn't blame uh, Emma for Liam's death. Liam was strong and outgoing. Thinks people are free to do what they like. Paul's stunt part of shock aspect of the course. Knows Paul went too far. Stunt not related to Liam's suicide. Knows the costume shop. Used to hire from the shop. Alice uh, have an end of stage party. Course involving teaching students how to act. Party includes wearing costumes. Bonus come? Oh shit! Bonus come just sub for ten months. Sorry, man, if I missed it. Thank you, dude. I love how you made that that username ten months ago. <laughs> Thanks, man. His neck trembles when he talks. I know, like a little neck. Str I know he has that like chicken neck thing. Yeah, he 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 looks like a British Biff. Tan, uh, Biff Tanner to me from uh, Back to the Future. So let's see. Hold on. Do you guys see any? Uh, you know what? Let's okay. Let's go back anyways. Thank let's you. Let's go back anyways because I want to take that. I want to take that light source and oh, let's go into the reading room real quick. Maybe there's something we'll see in here after. I guess not. Um, let's go to Rebecca's pub, and we'll use that flashlight in the back of the store. It's Biff Tannen, right? Tan it's Tannen, right? I haven't seen Back to the Future in years. Okay, so here we need to use the flashlight. There we go. Some more investigating, a.k.a. stealing from people. Does that say car insurance? Well, well. And there's the mask symbol again. Looks like someone's been trying to make a point. Okay, so we found, uh... Pictures of somebody who graffitied on somebody's car. Didn't they say that Simon drove? But now he uses a bicycle? You think that his car was damaged? For being in the, uh... We're past 50%, thank God. Uh, for being in the... Let's, let's talk to Simon real quick. I'm gonna follow a hunch here. I missed a donation as well. Fuck me, man. What what have I done? I don't think I missed a donation. Last one that came through said uh, was the Mosinators. <laughs> and I thanked him for that. Maybe it just hasn't come in yet. I don't know. You believe none of the students can afford I'll such a car? A that's a, things, that's a please. good point. I'm going to talk to her about this. Do you know anything about these? Emma, are you going to lie to me again? Emma, you better not be lying to me. Thank you. you Probably fucking, be back later. You fucking hussy. Have you seen these before? Mm. 
No. Don't know the car. Okay. Jinx has promised not to discuss this with Simon. Oh, well. People tell lies all the time. Why can't I... Fuck it. Thank right, you. Probably here. be back later. Dude, Emma's like the biggest liar ever. You're tearing me apart. Damn. Okay. Hold on a second. I'm going to send out a, a tweet. Fifty percent through this detective game. Through this detective game. It's like hot fuzz. Alright, sending out a tweet that I'm still alive. Uh Adak, what's up, man? Eight months in a row. Hey got Shadow, good morning. Suggestions for Ryan. Scrying versus auto hypnosis, bag versus mask. Okay, Jack. Scrying versus auto hypnosis and then bag versus mask. Okay, I'll see what I can do with those two. By the way, if you guys could take a second to retweet what I just sent out, that'd be great. It's a good, easy way to uh, uh, support the stream. A free way to support the stream. Sometimes people say that they would like to support, but they don't have money. It's an easy way you can do it for free. Uh, just to retweet that we're live. Okay, so... Should we go to Rebecca? It was in it was in the back of Rebecca's pub. I'm gonna ask her about the car real quick, and then we'll go back. I'll talk to a few others, and then we'll go back over to uh, Ryan. I feel like this is gonna end. This section's gonna end with Ryan. So, ding. a few more we'll questions, if you don't mind. We'll ask her. Have you ever seen these? Mm, it's Ryan's car. It got vandalized last year. His camera had been stolen, so I took pictures. Oh, whoever did it made a mess, didn't they? But nobody was prosecuted for it. Not that I remember. The insurance paid out, though. So, photos of Ryan's car vandalized last year. She took photos. Ryan's camera was stolen. Doesn't think anyone was prosecuted for it. Insurance paid out. I don't have anything else to really do. That's all for the moment. That. Thank you. All right. Um... I'm gonna go down the street and talk to uh, James real quick. Just want to see what sometimes what sometimes it's weird. Like I, I hate having to go uh, to every more single person if you don't mind. every time I find like one thing, but it's kind of how this. Know goes. anything about these? Nope. God damn it, James! You're so not be helpful. Be back later on, if that's okay. Well, I'll be back later. All right, see you later. All right, so I guess I can go talk to uh, what's his name now. Shit, uh, wrong button. This interface is so weird too. Nope. Yeah, he's just like nope. Fuck you, James. Uh, let's go ahead to the house. A couple more like, questions, if that's okay. In. Do you know what these are? Yes, that's Ryan's car. Another toy he managed to ruin. It was vandalized sometime last year. You know who did it? I don't believe anybody was ever prosecuted for it. It's not what we asked. I asked, do you know who who did it? Piece of shit. Okay. Thank you. Probably back be back later. All right. I guess. I guess we're gonna have to go back to Ryan then. I, I don't know what else to do. All right, let's go see if we can catch Ryan in something. We'll ask him about the car. Nope. Yeah, it was the same wording, which is kind of weird. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Yeah, Centri Centripetal, again, I, I know that he tried to buy, he tried to buy the guitar off of Emma a year ago, but we only know that because Emma said it. We can't, like, in this game, it doesn't really let you use other people's statements against other people. You're only trying to find contradictions within the things that the person themselves have said. It's not like a cross-examination. I don't know why it's not like that, but that's not the way the game really plays. It's more of a, of an interrogation it's not a cross-examination. It's kind of hard to explain, but 
Do you know what uh, these are? Oh, yes, that's my old car. Uh, it was vandalised. Um, I took those for the insurance company. Where did you find those? At the pub. Uh, you know who did this? <laughs> yes. A girl called Lisa Blint. She was on the course, very strange girl. And why did she write the words devil worshippers all over your car? Well, she was a very strange girl. She had a lot of psychological problems. Uh, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, Inspector. I, I mean, she, she took a dislike to the cause for some particular reason. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> and um, <laughs> she asked for a refund. I declined. And she decided to spray her disapproval all over my car. Odd thing to spray, isn't it, though? Devil worshippers? Well, she was a very odd girl, Inspector. Uh, maybe she thought it was a way of getting back at us. I have no idea. Did Rebecca know about it? Well, yes, she did, but I, was, I wasn't about to unleash Rebecca on her. She can be quite fierce sometimes, you know. And I mean, the girl wasn't vindictive. She had psychological problems. She lives in the village, actually. Uh, the run-down house at the end of the lane. Can't miss it. Really? Right. Thank you. So we have a new person to go over all this material with. Perfect. Okay, so... Jack, are you still here? What, what were you saying to check out, man? Doesn't know why Lisa wrote Devil Worshippers. Let's put that first. And then let's go to... Let's go to Devil Worshipping. Eh, I guess it's not really about him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we're, we... Pictures LO and who took it. Photos of Rise car, van, car was vandalized by a student called Lisa Blint. Lisa had psychological problems. Lisa asked for a refund. Doesn't know why Lisa wrote Devil Worship or Lisa lives, whatever. Doesn't know why... Okay, she doesn't know why... It was the... It was, the, was it the mirror? There it is. Uh, let's try that. No, that didn't work out. Because that's not really... His personal things that he used to... That he used to delve into doesn't necessarily make it Atlas's thing. So, we're going to have to go talk to Lisa. But there was a couple... The auto hypnosis and scry mirror might have some contradictions as well as some of the newest items too. Can't remember. Okay, let's try that. So, the auto hypnosis, he says, claims auto hypnosis is not a major part of the course. Students aren't course abroad in any way. How we could, uh, auto hypnosis techniques are being phased out. Please, auto hypnosis doesn't really work. But that that kind of goes in line with what he says here. He doesn't believe in supernatural now. He used to own a mirror himself. See, it, it, he doesn't believe it now. Like he used to believe it, but he doesn't anymore. The hand sign. Wait, the hand sign and the. Sp Oh, you mean the hand sign? Thinks the fingers is a devil sign. And are, talk are you talking about that? Using that against this? Doesn't know why she wrote devil worshippers? No, nah, that didn't work. <laughs> Only use my dick for good. Hello. I like what you do, and I like who you are, but can I be a troll today? I feel like trolling, but I don't want my dank trolls to affect your opinion of me. Okay, listen, if you want to troll, that's fine, man. Go right ahead. It's cool. Just don't be hateful. That's all we ask. Don't be hateful, homophobic, all that racist. We don't, we don't like that, but you can do whatever you want as long as you follow the rules of the channel. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to upload this to YouTube. It's just taking a lot. This is going to be a long-ass YouTube upload. Six and a half hours already. I don't know. Um, let me... Let me look at the auto-hypnosis again. 
It's not. He says it's not a major part of the course. He says he's not. I, I don't know. That kind of lines up. Let's go talk to Lisa. Fuck it. Lisa had psychological problems. But that falls in line with him saying he had a degree in psychology. Wait, 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 wait. Phrase about getting rid of guilt and self-doubt. That kind of goes against Paul's theft stunt. He says he knows Paul went too far. Oh, I thought that would work. I don't know. Let's, let's, uh... Uh, that's okay. it for the time being. Thank let's you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go talk to, let's go talk to Lisa. Fuck it. We're gonna have to go through all the shit with her anyway, so let's just go ahead and get it done. Hopefully this is where she's at. Could that be where Lisa lives? Rundown house at the end of the lane. That's what Ryan said, wasn't it? All right, here we go. New, new area, new character. Is it Lisa? Yes. Uh, Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. I wonder if I could ask you a few questions. What sort of incident? I'd rather come in and discuss it if that's all right with you. I promise I won't take long. What a creepy dude! Women, do not let I'll guys like this in your house. I have to go out in a minute. Oh, oh look, I, I can come back later. I might not be here. What did you want to ask? I just wanted to ask you. Did you know Kate Vine? No. Right. Well, I heard that you're familiar with Atlas, the uh, life skills training company. What do you want to know about Atlas? Well... I heard you reacted badly to it. Of course I reacted badly. So would anyone. Now why do you say that? Because they're devil worshippers. Devil worshippers? They're making demons appear. They're tricking everybody. With they're getting people to join up. And then they're putting demons inside them. You can see them. See who? Demons. Where could you see them? In the mirrors. At Atlas. Any mirror. You can't get rid of them. They stay inside you. So, how did you get rid of them? I didn't. I didn't. Boom! <laughs> Sorry, that was really... <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't anything. I just don't look. I put all the lights on. Anybody could have called that, basically. <laughs> Make sure it's all bright. I put them on when I need to look in the mirror. If I make sure everything is bright, I just see myself without seeing the other person. She's like me, but older. It's like her eyes sink in. She's all wrinkled, with a wrinkled mouth. Like she's dying. <laughs> and then I realize I'm her. I'm not me anymore. I'm sorry, I have to go now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thanks, Lisa. You really helped out there. Appreciate it. Wow, Lisa, perfect. Now, uh, now all this, uh, everything's answered. We weren't just really confused by what you just did, and you didn't just make everything harder for us. Perfect. 
You know what? I'm gonna call. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go back up the lane here. Let's call the the chief. See if we can call the chief. I don't know. I just periodically try to call the chief. He's never, uh, he's never there to support me. Fuck this man. I just tried Darth. I just tried to call him. He's just he's a piece of shit, and he just de do I have no support here? <coughs> Am I even really a true detective? True detective. Anybody keep it up with it? I'm like two or three episodes behind now. All right, let's uh, go into the atrium. Let's go talk back to uh, what's his name. We're going to go to Ryan. There's got to be something about Ryan. What he's saying that doesn't make sense. <coughs> um, let's save though. We're still at fifty-two percent. I feel like I progressed, but guess not. Ask you a couple more things, please. All right, Lisa's accusation. Has devil worship ever been part of the course, Ryan? <laughs> Am I correct? And assuming that you have spoken to Lisa Blint. Well, you would be. She's been telling me all about the Atlas obsession with Satanism, Ryan. Then if you've met Lisa Blint, then you will have worked out for yourself that she has a very vivid imagination. She also has psychological problems. Diagnosed psychological problems, as a matter of fact. So where did she get the idea that you lot were um, devil worshippers? I really have no idea. The girl is insane. She's frightened of her own up, shadow, Roger? bless her. She actually thinks that demons are possessing her even now. You really can't trust a word she says. So she you says. are saying there has never been any devil worship at Atlas? I don't even know what devil worship is, Inspector. It's not something I particularly know anything about. What? I certainly don't recall anyone ever having worshipped the devil at Atlas. We even tried to help the poor girl by paying for some treatment, but she didn't want it. Really? It's not easy to offer someone help when they think that you're the problem. Okay, that's bullshit. He doesn't know anything about devil worshipping. And... He used to read about black magic and satanic rituals. Aha. Uh -huh. That was an easy one. So, you used to read a lot about voodoo and satanic rituals, but you don't know anything about devil worship? <laughs> Well, obviously, I just meant we don't worship the devil. We're not devil worshippers here at Atlas, Inspector. Ridiculous. But the point is, Ryan, that you claim not to know anything about it, but admitted you were obsessed with it when you were younger. Are you sure none of that made its way onto the Atlas course? And that Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything within that course? Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything other than her own imagination, Inspector. Look. We do use some techniques that some students find difficult, disturbing. We encourage them to see things differently, that's all. And some people simply aren't up to that. Some people, like Lisa, uh, that's why we introduced the aptitude test. What's the aptitude test? This. He pulls out a gun, ba 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 ba, like, you knew too much, investigator. We ask students to fill in an aptitude test, uh, medical history, psychological issues, that kind of thing, any medication that they have used in the past, any medication that they currently are using. Here, take a look. Hail to the king, baby. Basically, it's <laughs> just to try and make sure that we don't get another Lisa. Has it worked? Well, touch wood so far, yes. Can I keep a copy of this? Hmm. Touch wood, touch wood so far, uh, yes. Touch wood. How much importance they actually give to this test? And what are they doing that's so disturbing anyway? God damn it. Hens, that was a great donation. And before you turn out, you turn out to be a patient at a mental institute, which is set up like a village, and you are the chief. It, oh, oh, and the chief is your care consultant. Shutter Island rip off, much, rip off much, Kappa. That was perfect timing, by the way, on that donation. Thank you for the $5. I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know if they're, like, sending... I, I don't know what to think about this fucking thing. I feel like if he was a real, like, there's a lot about the detective that isn't very detective. Like, I don't know. He doesn't see, like, he doesn't have a flashlight. Like, just some weird shit. Like, I, maybe he's part of this town. Maybe he's fucking crazy. Maybe he is, like, Shutter Island. I don't know, man. Whatever. I gave you Jinx. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else. Let's take this Atlas 
uh, application form around and see what other people say about it. I don't really have another way to call them out. Incident pr uh, prompted them to introduce an aptitude test. Uh, Atlas, Atlas, do use some disturbing techniques. Offer at least a private psychological treatment. Lisa still believes demons are possessing her. There's a fantasy psycho psychological problems. Incident prompted them to introduce an aptitude test. So, okay. Maybe we'll take it... Um, I don't know. Seems more like a journalist. Yeah, he does seem more like a journalist than an actual, like, police officer. Um... I guess let's take this around and have people take a look at it, I guess. I, Thank I, I you. Know. Probably be back later. I don't know what else to do, really. Alright, so let's go to... Let's start with Simon and Emma. Why not, you know? Fuck me. Push the wrong button. Uh, let's go left into the humble abode. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Hey, did I? What's up, man? Let's ask him about... Start with uh, Lisa's accusations. Have you ever heard about there being devil worship at Atlas? Devil worship? No. Definitely not. Who said that? It's just something I heard. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> Have you seen one of these before? Um, no, not, not this one exactly, but uh, we had to fill something similar in on the first night at Atlas. One of those aptitude tests? No, fitness and stuff like that. I did, I did, Saw. So, yeah. I checked the room where where they were where they did the ritual. So filled in the similar form when joining Atlas. Wait, did she say she joined Atlas? She only went once, I thought she said. She didn't, she said that when she joined Atlas, I thought she only went once. What? Oh, she had been in a similar course before. That's what, that's third eye. Went to Atlas seminar with Simon. Filled it when joining. I thought she just went to a seminar. That doesn't mean she joined them. I thought I thought I had that one. Sorry guys, guess not. Yeah, we're going to go to the yeah, this that's I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I have these really obvious connections and they just don't work. Thank you. Uh, hey, thank Obzi he says loving the stream. Feels good, man. <laughs> Thanks Obzi. I I'm glad you're having a good good time, man. Never heard of devil worshipping at Atlas. Is that true? Let's, uh, she heard about doll birding, but not necessarily devil worshipping. They are very different. I think James is creepy. He was selling them. Demonstrate he's the new spot the thing. The mask. Hasn't seen the mask before. Emma gave Jinx the card from her freedom necklace. This is an un unwanted gift. So the necklace was an unwanted gift from Paul. We already know that. Necklace called a freedom necklace. I don't I don't mm, I don't know if this is where we need to be. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. I'm just in it for L Emma. Emma has lied to us like five straight times. Like legit lied to us. Fuck Emma. If I have it in for Emma, it's because she's a goddamn liar and a whore. What do you know about devil worship? Devil worship? What? At Atlas. <laughs> Devil worship at Atlas? No, nah, there's none of that. Did you do a test before you started at Atlas? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it was all just questions about uh, if I had any illnesses or mental health problems or stuff like that, you know. But they didn't actually ask for any proof, so I could have lied through your teeth on that one. Don't think they actually checked. Interesting. Form was a simple health check. Would be easy to lie on the form. Filled in the form before joining Atlas. Let's get out of here. Be back later on, if that's okay. 
I do Emma. I, 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 I'll be honest. I, I would I would probably fuck Emma. But I'm just saying that she's a whore. I'd still do her. I'm not above doing her. I'm just saying that she's a horrible person. It would be one of those things where, like, you slept with them and then you would hate yourself afterwards. But you'd sleep with them a second time because you hate yourself afterwards. Like, it, it's one of those things where it almost feels good to hate yourself. I don't know. I'm just saying... I'm just saying not everybody that sleeps with somebody does it because they're in love with them. I'm just saying sometimes you do it because you absolutely hate the fucking person. Am I not right? I I have fucked people I hated in the past. Because, I mean, even though I hate you, you're still kind of hot. And the self-loathing is, you know, kind of a turn on for some people. The Whore of Babylon. Do you just pull out the Whore of Babylon? Do you just pull out a Dexter reference on us? Ask about a few more things, please. Ella confirmed masochist. Did I say him? Do you know anything about I this? Him. Her, and whatever. It's the end of it. test, isn't it? Try this. What do you want to know? Do you know why it was introduced? I think they had some trouble with some unsuitable students. I suppose you have to be careful who you work with. Revenge fucking. I hate you, you want to have sex, sure. I mean, like, you can really... It's like the... 